up guys so got another build to show off this is one of the custom one-off dials only one made this is the f14 tomcat version 2 so the way it's styled up is with the tachymeter around there we lasered that all through we have the f14 tomcat referenced right there which it's right under that uh hour marker then the front profile so only one of the F14 made. Got a bead blasted case. It's been front side kind of distressed polished. So you're you're the distressed bead blasting on the sides. But you've got kind of a little bit of like a distressed polishing on the front. Star engraved crown to match that center. We have an anodized blue coin bezel with a minute silver insert glow profile exhibition case back stainless steel movement holder in there and one of my silver special edition little rotors the wife is apparently caving the house in from the outside and then this is on a custom two-piece wrist bound strap done up in blue and a nice light tone brown with blue stitching and we've got a black VW preview buckle on here and then we've got some Omega style handsets in there uh, in black and then this where is my light it's behind me hold please as you can see how this looms So lasered completely through at the star and your hour indices all the way around. So that is the build. Bezel on this will turn left, it'll turn right. It is held on with a tension ring. It's on there pretty tight. You should not accidentally move it. Automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind, and a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and go back and forth. With those crown guards, this one's actually considered a 42 millimeter because those guards sticking out. Most of my stuff's considered a 41.5. So if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day. But if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 hour power reserve on it, which is good if you're going to be driving for a long time or uh, just making sure the watch works or ready the next morning which is what I do to make sure that it keeps time throughout the night so once you're happy with your winding you're going to pull it to the one and only click and you can now set your time it does not have a hacking movement so it's going to keep going and also just so you guys know on this dial which I, maybe I didn't get into it I had this custom lasered and drilled out and then it was painted to accentuate everything back there, otherwise it'd just be silver on silver. And then uh, backside loomed. So uh, this is one of the one-off series that I did. It's gonna have a matching box and everything with it. Um, but I did a line of F14s and a lot of, everybody jumped in on those. Those are the top profile uh, planes. And then I did a version two with the tachymeter around it and then the front view. So. It's been a minute. I haven't put any of these up. I have a few of them, but I kind of kind of hold them back. I hoard them a little bit. Okay, Google, what time is it? Twelve twenty-four p.m. Okay, Google, skip. Twelve twenty-four. When you're good. Also, you'll notice when you do this, you've got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure on that stem or any side pressure on that movement. But when you're good, you will push it over, get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. And that is the build. If it's going to you, congrats. Good work. This will come with matching beads entirely up to you how cool you are, if you wear these beads or not. This will also come with the dial matching custom box. So will come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts. So this watch as a whole will also come with leather conditioner. This is 
Good to keep this strap perfectly soft. Apply it on the front and the back, let it soak in, remove any excess. A little bit will go a long way. And you also have some fine scratch remover. This is for the acrylic glass. You can scratch it, but if you do, no big deal. Put a tiny bit of this on it, buff it out using your included microfiber, and you will knock that out. So if the scratch is up and down, go left and right, haze it, polish it out. If you don't get it, wait a little bit, let that solidify real good, and do it again. So like I said, that is the build. If it is going to you, thank you so much for your support. Uh, you have something very unique, and, uh, and I hope you like it. Uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. If you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe so I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.